Hey guys and welcome to part 3 in our WX Python series here on the Quotas Legacy channel. In this video we're going to take a look at the static text widget. Okay, it's pretty simple. It's just a simple widget that's going to display text on screen. Okay, pretty simple but pretty important. Okay, so as usual in this video we're going to begin with the widget, how to create it, then we'll move on to the styles and methods for it and then take a look at uh, how we can actually use the label. Okay, use the static text widget. Okay, we'll take a look at some cool stuff like colors and alignment and stuff. Okay, we'll take a look at all of that. Okay, so enough talking and let's go ahead and begin. I'll call this text. Okay, that's the widget name. And over here we'll do wx.staticText. Okay, and over here, the parent. Parent is always the first parameter. Okay, you should begin memorizing the widget order now. Okay, the parameter order. First is always the parent. And then there's typically labeled, and there's position and size, and then there's style. Okay. Sometimes there's extra stuff as well. Okay. There's also validator and name, but that's not very important. Okay. So here we have wx dot static text. The parent is going to be the panel, and what's the label going to be? Well, the label is going to be. Let's give it some kind of default value like hello world. Okay. And let's give it a position. 50 by 50 okay and I'm gonna create one more okay copy paste I'll call this one text one and I'll call this one text two I'll put this one a bit lower and this one can be something like welcome to Coder's legacy okay pretty simple and here we go here's our text okay that was literally it. That's just how you display a text. But of course, there's a lot more to it than that. So we'll take a look at some of these styles and functions now. Okay. So which one should we take a look at first? Well, I want to show you something with colors first. Okay. Colors is something pretty interesting. Okay. And I'm pretty sure you guys are interested in this. So we'll take a look at set foreground color. Okay. And over here, you just need to pass in a color. So let's pick a color, red. Okay. And let me set the background now. Set background. Okay. What color should should we do for this? Yellow. Okay. And let's copy paste this now. And we'll do the same for the second text. Okay. And what color should we do for this? Foreground can be green, maybe, or let's make the foreground yellow, and the background can be green. Okay, hopefully it'll show up correctly because you need to pick colors. Uh, what's up with that? That was kind of silly of me. I made a little typo over here. I left out the R. Okay, let's try this again. And there we go. Okay, that is not a good contrast. Definitely not. All right, so I'm going to turn this to blue. Let's try blue. Okay, that's a lot better. Okay, we can actually see it properly now. Now, the thing is, uh, let's try out alignment. Okay, but, but, watch what happens. Okay, I'm going to try to align this over here. Align um, left, or let's make this one left and Let's make the other one center. Okay. Center horizontal. Okay. This is going to center align it. And this one will become uh, right aligned. Okay. So there's something I want to show you guys. Okay. What is wrong with that? All right. It's align center horizontal. Okay. Now, watch this. There was no change. Okay? You see, no change. There's no alignment, all right? The alignment isn't taking effect. Well, actually, it is, but you don't see the effect. And why is that? Because by default, the static text widget changes its size to fit the text within, inside of it. Okay? So that's why there's no extra space around it to actually align itself. It's like you're telling something to move in a container where there's no space to move. Okay? So what we need to do actually is simply pass in a new parameter, 
size. And let's increase the size to 100 by 50. Okay. And we'll do the same down here. Okay. And let's just bring these in a bit closer to save some space and make everything visible. Okay. And there we go. And all right. There you can see that that has been aligned to the right. Okay. And over here, down here, we have it center aligned. Okay. So that all makes sense now. Okay. You can see that we need to actually increase the size of the label, the static text widget. Okay. And this is why I actually did the colors first. So we could actually see the background. Okay. Cause if I didn't do color, you know, it'd just be transparent, right? So you would just see the background of the panel. So this is pretty, a pretty good visual, visual indication. Okay. Of how much space is taking. Okay. So what else should we take a look at? There's obviously stuff like get label and set label. I don't think we need to cover those because those are pretty simple and I've already used those with the buttons. Get label and set label are pretty common on any widgets that have labels. Okay. You can use them almost anywhere. Besides this, however, there's one more, um, there's one more thing we can take a look at. Okay. Let's just delete this one over here. We don't need it. Okay. And there's something I want to show you guys. I'm going to decrease the size of this quite a bit. I'm going to remove the style and I'm going to just run this. All right. Now, hold on. Just one more thing. Okay. There we go. Now you see that little, uh, text over there. Okay. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Okay. Uh, so what happens if you want to display a lot of text, but your static text widget is too small. Okay. What if it's too small? So, uh, this might look weird. Okay. And if you have an application and this kind of problem is occurring like this over here that you can see, it'll look bad. Okay. So what we do actually is this little style over here that helps you save the look of your GUI. I'll tell you about it. Style is equal to WX dot ST. ST stands for static text and then ellipse. Uh, well, the spelling is a bit weird. Ellipse size start, I think. Yeah. Okay. There are three of these. There's start, there's middle and end. We'll discuss each one of them. I just hope I typed the name incorrectly. And yes, good. I got the name correct. So over here, what it does is adds in ellipses, which are, you know, the triple dots. Okay. It adds them in the start if the widget is not large enough. Okay. So you can automatically see that things look a lot better. Now let's just go ahead and try middle. Okay. There you go. That didn't look that great, but it's kind of on a case by case basis, depending on the word size and stuff. Let's try an end. Okay. And this, this I think looks pretty good. Okay. This is the one that I would pick. Okay. Uh, cause that, that's where you, that's where the ellipses usually are, you know, at the end. So that makes sense. Okay. So with this, I think we've covered pretty much everything with the, uh, static text widget. There are of course other stuff. Okay. Don't forget. Okay. There's set label, get label. You can use those to change the text of the widget. Okay. You can make a button, press the button and it's called a set label function like this. Okay. Set label and whatever. Okay. You can print out the current text with get label. Okay. So feel free to use all of that and yeah, pretty much we're done here. I think so as always, be sure to check out the website for a full list of styles and methods. Maybe I didn't mention some of them, so you'll find them over there. Okay. Other than that, make sure to subscribe. So you don't say anything in the future because there'll be a lot more content. Okay. We have at least like 10 more widgets to cover. And then we'll be taking a look at layouts and stuff. So there's a whole lot of content to come. So be sure to stick around. Okay.